Now, National Geographic says that bacteria evolving to be resistant to our new drugs is the best proof of evolution. That was November of 2004, but most evolutionists believe that and teach it. Let's take a look at this article here, uh, February uh, 9th, I think it is, of uh, Science News Magazine. Uh, it's February 20, uh, 15th. Okay, it's very recent. And it's talking about this, oh, now they're finding out that tolerance, just being able to go into a dormant state, not being immune to the new antibiotic, uh, bacteria can then uh, mutate better uh, and uh, flourish after the tolerance and they can become immune. But what creationists have always said is this sort of thing never really happens. Well, not the acquiring resistance. It might already be there and natural selection weeds out the germs that aren't tolerant and the only ones left are the tolerant or immune ones. But uh, the idea of giving a cocktail of, uh, cause you know, the chance that a crowd of, of bacteria will have, you know, somebody immune to the new drug is very high. We've seen this before, but the fa the chance that any of them would be immune to five antibiotics at once. Well, no, that's, a, that would be a little weirder. So we creationists who are in, involved in immunology have always said, let's just give people a cocktail of, of, and that way all of them will be killed by natural selection, well, artificial selection, and none of the so-called super germs will remain, giving the illusion of a new species. Quickly, the evolutionists will say that is what happened. So uh, that's not really what's happening. Uh, go ahead and read the caption here. Remember, a cocktail is used doing a, a immunology by the creation model. Single back, uh, antibiotics, antifungals, and antivirals uh, would be doing a medicine by evolution paradigm. Uh, and we are now seeing which one actually works out in practice. Research is finally breaking the ice on that and uh, a, found, a crack in the foundation of their stubborn uh, wall in the brain. And now it's coming through the cocktail, which goes with the creation model, seems to be what we really should do in epidemiology and immunology. You keep thinking, Dr. J.